There are moments in human history when everything we thought we understood shifts, when a single discovery forces us to rewrite the rules, to question not just what we know about the universe, but whether the universe has been watching us all along. On March 14th, 2024, deep beneath the border of Switzerland and France, scientists at CERN made a detection, not from the collisions inside their particle accelerator, but from something 2.3 billion kilometers away, an interstellar object designated 3i slash Atlas, and what it sent back should not have been possible. Let's start with what we know. 3i slash Atlas was first detected by the Atlas Telescope Network in Hawaii on January 9th, 2024. At first, astronomers thought it was just another comet, a chunk of ice and rock tumbling through the void. But within 72 hours, something became clear. Its trajectory didn't match anything in our solar system. The orbital mechanics were wrong. The speed, the angle of approach, the way it moved through space, it all pointed to one conclusion. 3i slash Atlas had come from another star. This made it only the third confirmed interstellar object ever detected. The first, Oumuamua, baffled scientists in 2017 with its strange, elongated shape and unexpected acceleration. The second, Borisov, appeared more comet-like, familiar. But 3i slash Atlas was different. It wasn't just passing through. According to Dr. Yuki Tanaka from the European Southern Observatory, 3i slash Atlas had decelerated. We observed what appeared to be a controlled reduction in velocity as it entered the outer solar system. Natural objects don't do this. Gravitational interactions can slingshot something faster or curve its path. But slowing down? That requires energy expenditure. Slowing down. As if it wanted to stay. By February, observatories around the world were locked onto it. Infrared telescopes, radio dishes, optical arrays, everyone wanted to understand what this thing was made of, where it came from, and why it was behaving so strangely, but no one expected CERN to get involved. CERN, the European Organization for Nuclear Research, is home to the most powerful particle accelerator ever built, the Large Hadron Collider. Its purpose? To probe the fundamental structure of reality, to find the building blocks of matter, to glimpse the forces that shape the universe in its first trillionth of a second. Kern doesn't look at stars. It doesn't track asteroids. So when whispers began circulating in March 2024 that CERN had detected something related to 3i slash Atlas, the scientific community was stunned. According to an internal memo obtained by investigative journalist Dr. Elena Ruiz, Kern's quantum field sensors designed to detect minute fluctuations in space-time around particle collisions, had picked up an anomaly, a rhythmic distortion, a pattern, and it was coming from the direction of 3i slash Atlas. The sensors weren't designed for astronomical observation. They measure quantum foam, virtual particles, the fabric of space-time itself on the smallest scales. But on March 14th, at 3.42 UTC, Multiple detectors registered a coherent signal, a repeating modulation in the local quantum field. When they triangulated the source, it aligned perfectly with 3i slash Atlas's position in space. Think about what that means for a moment. An object 2.3 billion kilometers away, drifting silently past the orbit of Uranus, was somehow interacting with the quantum field around Kern's detectors, not through radio waves, not through light, through the fundamental structure of space-time itself. And the signal wasn't random, it was structured, intentional. Dr. Mikhail Petrov, a theoretical physicist consulting with Kern, described it as a handshake protocol. Imagine two computers trying to communicate for the first time. Before they exchange data, they establish a connection, a handshake. The signal had that quality. It was probing, testing, waiting for a response. And the truly unsettling part? The mathematics embedded in the pattern weren't arbitrary. They referenced physical constants, 
the fine structure constant, the Higgs field coupling, values that define our universe. Someone, or something, was speaking the language of physics, and it knew we were listening. What do you do when the universe reaches out? For 72 hours, Kern remained silent. Publicly, nothing was announced. But behind closed doors, a decision was made. On March 17th, at 1400 TC, CERN initiated what they called Experiment Threshold, using the LHC's magnetic field generators in a configuration never attempted before, they created a modulated distortion in the local quantum field. Essentially, they sent a signal back. The pattern was simple, a mathematical sequence, prime numbers, the Fibonacci spiral, universal constants, a mirror of what 3i slash Atlas had sent. They transmitted for six minutes, then stopped and waited. 38 hours later, 3i slash Atlas changed course, not dramatically, not a sudden turn. But every observatory tracking it confirmed the same thing. Its velocity vector had shifted. It was no longer on a hyperbolic escape trajectory. It was adjusting, angling inward, deeper into the solar system, toward Earth. Because here's where it gets stranger. 3i slash Atlas doesn't emit heat. It doesn't reflect light the way rock or ice should. When scientists tried to measure its mass using gravitational perturbations on nearby space, the numbers didn't make sense. It was too light for its size, too dense for its composition, and its surface, if you could call it that, seemed to shift. One researcher described it as a bruise on space, a region where the normal rules seemed negotiable. And then, on April 2nd, CERN's detectors picked up a second signal. This one was different, longer, more complex. And buried within the quantum field modulations was something that still hasn't been fully explained. A three-dimensional map. When CERN's team finally decoded the signal structure, what emerged was geometric, precise, a three-dimensional coordinate system, but not one anchored to stars or galaxies. It was a map of space-time itself, nodes and pathways, connections between points in the universe that shouldn't be connected, shortcuts, wormholes, According to Dr. Samir Chaudhry, a quantum gravity specialist brought in to consult, what we were looking at wasn't theoretical. It wasn't speculation. This was a functional map of traversable space-time tunnels. And one of the nodes, one of the endpoints, was here, in our solar system, near Saturn. Saturn. Why Saturn? Scientists weren't sure. But as they cross-referenced the map, with known astronomical data, something extraordinary emerged. For decades, Saturn's magnetosphere has exhibited irregularities, fluctuations that don't quite match models, radio emissions from its poles that sound almost organized. And in 1980, Voyager 1 captured an image of a hexagonal storm system at Saturn's North Pole, a geometric pattern that still defies complete explanation. What if those weren't anomalies? What if Saturn's gravitational well, its immense magnetic field, its position in the solar system, what if it was all part of something larger, a natural anchor point for a wormhole network we never knew existed, and 3i slash Atlas was the key? Let's step back and consider what this means. If 3i slash Atlas is a probe, a messenger, or something we don't even have words for, it suggests we are not alone. As of May 2024, 3i slash Atlas has crossed the orbit of Jupiter. It continues to decelerate. Observatories track it hourly. CERN's quantum sensors remain locked on its signal, and the scientific community is divided. Some advocate for continued communication, others urge silence. Dr. Okonkwo put it bluntly, we don't know what we're dealing with. Sending signals into the dark is one thing when you're shouting into an empty room. But when something shouts back, when it changes direction and comes toward you, maybe it's time to turn off the lights and be very, very quiet. But others argue the opposite, that this is the moment humanity has been waiting for. First contact, not with radio waves across light years, but with something tangible, physical, here in our solar system. 
Dr. Tanaka offers a different perspective. Fear is understandable. Let's address the fear directly. Why is this terrifying? Not because 3i slash Atlas has shown hostility. It hasn't. Not because we've detected weapons or threats. We haven't. It's terrifying because it reminds us how fragile our, our understanding is. Every scientific law, every theory we've built, assumes a certain consistency. That the rules here apply there. That the universe operates on principles we can eventually decode. But what if we're wrong? 3. I slash Atlas doesn't fit. It slows down without propulsion. It communicates through quantum fields. It navigates using a network we didn't know existed. Every observation raises more questions than answers, and that's the fear. Not of the object itself, but of what it represents. The collapse of certainty. The realization that we might be children playing in the shallows, while something vast and incomprehensible moves in the deep. Dr. Okonkwo said something in a private interview that hasn't been widely shared. I've spent my entire career studying the universe. I thought I understood the scales involved. But 3i slash Atlas makes me feel small in a way I never expected. Not physically small. We've always known we're tiny. But intellectually small. Like we've been reading a children's book, and someone just handed us a doctoral thesis written in a language we don't speak. So where does that leave us standing on a precipice, between the known and the unknown, between fear and wonder? 3. I slash Atlas has given us a gift, whether it intended to or not. It's reminded us that the universe is not done surprising us, that our equations, our theories, our carefully constructed models of reality, they're just the beginning. And maybe that's what it means to be human, to stand in the face of the incomprehensible and say, I don't understand but I want to. Curiosity. That's our superpower. Not strength, not speed, not even intelligence, really. But the refusal to accept ignorance is final. The insistence that mysteries are meant to be solved, or at least appreciated. We don't know what 3 I slash Atlas is. We don't know what it wants, if want is even the right word. We don't know what September will bring, but we'll be watching, measuring, wondering because that's what we do. The universe spoke to us through the language of physics, through quantum fields and space-time itself, and we spoke back. Whatever happens next, we were here. We listened. We tried. And in a cosmos 13.8 billion years old, that might be the most extraordinary thing of all. If discoveries like this fascinate you, if you want to journey deeper into the mysteries our universe keeps revealing, subscribe because this is just the beginning. The cosmos is vast. It is strange. It is waiting. And so are we. Abstract thought. But what if intelligence can exist in forms we don't recognize? What if 3i slash Atlas isn't a ship built by beings like us, but something else entirely? A living field. A consciousness woven into space-time. An emergent pattern from dimensions we can't perceive. What is communication? We think of words, symbols, mathematics.